I know, right? Sound? Are we actually live? Go, go, go! Are we actually live? Yes. <laughs> Words <laughs> help. Money is going. That's why I said sound. Welcome to Guys Talk Knives <laughs> live at Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. Knife store. It's gigantic. It is gigantic. I got lost coming up here. Did you? I did. After 20 years? I, I, t I took a wrong turn at the case counter, ended up over at Benchmade, asked for directions. It wasn't even an employee. It was just somebody in a blue shirt. Mm -hmm. I ended up in the knife cave. Nice. And then I got distracted because they were showing stun guns. Yeah. And I kept hearing, and I was like, oh, I gotta watch that. The stun guns are always hilarious. You're standing up on the mezzanine and all of a sudden you're... <laughs> So like, fun. man, Cousin Eddie's glowing when he's leaving today, <laughs> and it's not from his healthy face wash. No, not at all. Not at all. Oh, uh, man. I've never been... Have you ever been zapped with this? No. I don't plan on it. it. It's fun to watch. <laughs> it's fun to watch. It is. Like when John uh, Knoxville took one? Oh, he said that's the worst pain he ever felt. That and the beanbag gun. Yeah. <laughs> the beanbag gun messed him up. Yeah. Yeah, not fun. The explosion, the, 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 uh, yeah, I know what you're yeah. talking about. Yeah, it was the device the that you would put outside of a place that explodes and hits all the bean, the bean bags all come out. Oh, no, this was actually from a gun. Oh, yeah, this wow. is a bean bag out of a shotgun. Ow. It was a bean bag round. Oh, less than lethal. And it, it, it left a nice big mm. Mm, bleeding mm, 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 mm. contusion. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> <It's a> nice <laughs> bleeding contusion here at Christmas. Uh, we're in the thick of it, right? We're, yes, we are. Uh, we're nearing the cutoff point. It's it's coming close. We'll jump into that business yeah, in a second. Order, order now. <laughs> don't wait. Look don't, at your TV. Don't do what I do. Hold your hands up like this. Yes. Just <laughs> let it all in. <laughs> Get out your clogging shoes. <laughs> yes, right. Baby Billy baby, wants you to buy something today. Billy. Um, <laughs> don't do what I do. Are you? When do you shop? Are you a last minute shopper? Here's the thing. I've always wondered that. Okay. So my Christmas historically for uh, for Smokey because of the design work that I do starts in like June. Sure. So I got that Christmas going. Then we in the last what four years since I've been in this role as creative director for social media, uh, it's all Christmas all the time from oh yeah this time we start planning at the end of October yes. all the way through to Christmas. So by the time I get to Christmas, I am so sick of Christmas that I'm just over it. So yeah. I wait till the last minute. I always have just as a just as a pastime. <laughs> just I like to go out last day. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, Christmas Eve, late. When you be uh, home, I don't know what I'm done. It just is what it is. You end up at the at the See, that's what my pilot. mom and dad used to do all the time. So they would have all these gifts already and they'd be like, No, David, you need to go you need to go out and get some more. We don't have enough under the tree as the tree is like <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So it's awesome. And then the last minute wrapping that lasts like it's like a five hour session. <sighs> That is that is the worst thing for me at Christmas. Uh, is wrapping gifts. I am forty seven years old. I am good to go for the first package, and then I'm in the floor, and just like by the end of it, I'm just you might as well just drag me around the rest of the Rats holidays. Oh man, goodness! Rats to shake. No, not ever happening. Not bunny, ever happening. It's a bunny, a plush bunny. You squish said bunny. You wrap the ears around to the tail. Now it's bowling ball shaped. Tissue uh, paper. You tie it with a bow at the top. You can't tell it's a bunny. <laughs> it's now a surprise. Uh, Bottle of wine. Nope, you know right what it is. Paper up around the top. And ribbon. that's how his niece got buddy backwards ears for Christmas. Well, I'm telling you. <laughs> Laura sits down every Christmas. She sees two bottles of Reslin. They are wrapped. She knows they're Reslin <laughs> because they're wrapped in the shape of bottles of wine. Let's get into this business. <laughs> so uh, last week on Tuesday, we did a live. Yes, we did a live Thursday. on Thursday as well. Yes. We're going to do that again this week. It's going to happen. Uh, we gave away an artisan proponent, a copper yes, proponent, we did. last week on Tuesday. And Josh Ritzheimer, who I like to say this name. Josh. Mr. Josh Ritzheimer. Ritzheimer. Ritzheimer has one proponent. Das is mine? We were really excited I on the did, journey there. I did. Artisan Copper Proponent went to Josh Ritz Armor. He was watching That's YouTube a, at the time. It is such a fun knife. It's a great knife. It's a big chunk of a knife. When you showed me how many of those brass proponents we sold this morning, I about yeah. lost my mind. Lots of them. You guys like that knife. Yeah. The copper is out there, too. Uh, and the copper, I'm telling you. To me, I like the copper better. That's just me. I can't. I, I honestly cannot decide. Yeah. It is whichever one I have in my hand at the time. Right. 
Um, the copper is going to patina better. Yes. Just yes. is because of the nature of, of that element. Right. Exactly. Uh, it's day 10. In it, I guess in this case. It is day 10 of the 12 days of Christmas. It is. Um, you have two more days after today. Be paying attention on the 12th. Yep. Just saying. Um, it's day 10. That means today it is the Case Kickstart Trapper Lock Campfire Bone. <laughs> that little kickstart mechanism. Yep. That thing is regularly 115 bucks. We've got it on today all day right up until 7 a.m. tomorrow at seventy nine. 99. Gum Fuddy's going to call us and ask us That's what right. we're doing. That's right. <laughs> and we'll go, it's an SFO, Gum Fuddy. Right. We can sell it for what we want. You told us we could. That's right. <laughs> so pay attention to that. At 7 a.m. tomorrow, there will be another brand new, the 11th day. Will be I tell you tomorrow. what, if you ever thought about getting that kickstart mechanism in a knife, this is a good time to try it. Yeah. That price is nice. And that campfire bone is gorgeous. Expensive. The campfire bone is beautiful. And you can try out an assisted opening case knife. Yeah. Which is really kind of neat. Yeah. And if you were to do that today, you'd get free priority mail yes, shipping. You would. Because any order still, $39 or more, gets you free priority mail shipping. At this point, we've locked the door upstairs. We're not letting Tyler up there. He keeps on banging the outside. Stop the shipping! Nope. Gonna yeah, keep going. No, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. We're getting hate mail from the warehouse. <laughs> They're working hard. <laughs> They're pulling people from over here to pack orders. Sightbusters is still going. If you don't know about this, you need oh. to jump into the Sightbusters section. This morning, as of this morning, I saw 180 items still in there. There were 34 Condor items on there. Yep. 31 Benchmade knives in that section. 14 Kershaw and just a ton, ton more. Oh, I added a buck. Did you right before we came upstairs? Nice. What's like, a buck? I what remember what it was. I'll, dang it, I don't know what it was. I don't remember that ever. He I doesn't pay downstairs. attention. I have to write it down. But so we, we took it down to it. 40 bucks. Nice. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. Um, so that's out there. In fact, the buck sale, which is 20% off all buck, goes to the 16th. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Cold Steel is all 25% off, and it's indefinitely. No, till the turn of the year. Okay, indefinitely through Christmas. <laughs> oh, sure. Uh, Condor, the changes to the Condor prices are those, the, for those items are probably permanent for a while. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So select Condor items 25% off, too. Yeah. So shipping deadline. If you want to get your stuff by Christmas, <laughs> you need to do that by Pay attention to the words he's saying. And then do the words. Yes. Hashtag do the do words. The words. <laughs> December 19th by 10 a.m. Eastern. Yep. You need to place your order December 19th by 10 a.m. in order to guarantee you're going to get it by Christmas. At 10.01? No. It will not. Ryan At will go, so sorry about you. 10.02? No, sir. What about the next day? Not going to happen. Exactly. See? Exactly. December we are stickers. 19th. That is when that is going to happen. Yeah. And that is all the business that I have. That's all the business? That is all the business. The only um, other business I have. Uh, that's all the business we have, that I have as well. Cool. Right now. Well, the other thing I'm going to tell you is we've decided that we're not going to drop taped versions anymore. Yeah, they're just, why? Yeah, we have fun with this. We come on live. You join us at the same time. So and we get to have questions immediately and answers right. immediately, it, it, so it's more fun. We get feedback and we get to laugh just a little bit more. So yes. it's, it's always fun that way. So what happens when we do that is that we had to figure out a way to break up the seven-item structure that we were yes. doing. So I went from seven to ten, and we're putting five items on, on each show. You've done good today, by the way. Uh, I think that's a like good selection. So you're going to see a couple of things twice a week. Something new is always going to be twice a week, um, I believe. And then uh, some new things are going to show up. Like we're going to have a Rough Rider of the Week now. Sure. Uh, and those things will happen on different days. But tune in because you'll see them all during the week. Another cool thing with it being live is it means that if we have something just pop up that day, mm -hmm. that we can just add it because it's not taped anymore. Mm -hmm. So if, okay, I was when we talked about this, the those three new tops uh yeah yeah viking, viking tactics. tactic series yes now we'll just bring out all three and go okay besides the five here's these three really cool things right. that we're dropping today and believe, so take a look at them. believe it or not that happens quite a bit it just, really it just suddenly something shows up and yeah. we're like let's get it out there because we'll know about it ahead of time <clears throat> in almost every case and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, they came in, and here they are. And we're like, oh, oh, new, pretty sharp, pointy things. We've got to, we need to show these off. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, that's the other piece of business that I forgot. Um, 
We will be doing an unboxing video at some point on the latest box that went yes. out from the SMKW Care Package. I don't know exactly when that's going to drop. I'm going to, have to try to have it by the end of the week. But because you all live last week asked us to hold this unboxing yes. so that people on YouTube could put out their unboxings, that's what we've done. So, so get your unboxing there. videos up. Yes. Tell, you can have that discussion in the group. I'm not going to delete it. Yeah. Just put spoiler alert at the top. Sure. And have at it. Have well, the conversation. Who, who, who we watched today. Uh, we watched Tobias. Tobias is today. Yeah, that's yeah. right. We, we did watch Tobias's review. Uh, he reviewed the GI box. Yep. I'd love to see some more out there. But we'll do our own, and we'll get that out there ASAP. Cool. Um, let's jump into this. Yes. You've got your list, and you're going to have to remind Damn. me of what segment we're on. I think I've got several of these. But first things first, something new. Yeah. Did you? Oh, my gosh. Let's go to two right there. Look at that. I really dig the handle on that knife. I love the wrench. I love the wrench. I love the color. I like the texture. This is the number 89 oil field jack. I, that oil field jack series is so groovy because yeah. of the shield, because of the, the blade layout. I dig it. So this is a number 86 oil field jack with a natural canvas micarta handle. Uh -huh. um, this is a is pattern premier plus. So Grady's look account. here. If I flip that around, you can see that marking on the blade. Yep, right there. Right. And you'll see that any of their Pattern Premier Plus series, uh, 1095 carbon steel clip point and sheep's foot blades with a satin finish and half stops, natural canvas micarta handles, brushed nickel silver bolsters, brass pins and liners, brushed nickel silver wrench shield on the side, 3.85 inches closed, weighs 3.76 ounces, made in the USA by Great Eastern Cutlery. And of this old field jack, I think we've got another three versions of it, two versions of Melina, it. Melina, how many of these do we have? Of the old Different field? versions of the 89, of the 86? Uh, like two, two or three? Four. 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 Yes. So, so this one and three more. Yeah. And I think one of those might be sold out already. Two of those are sold out. Yeah. All we have left is the Amber Jim so, and the Micara. Yeah. Yeah. That Amber Jim bone, Jig Bone is pretty too, though. Jim Bone. The Jim Bone. The Amber, the amber Jim how Bone. How many gems do you have to harness that bone from? <laughs> hey, Jim, come over here. We need your shin. <laughs> we got to make another GEC. Well, the shin bones connect to the Jim Bone. Uh, <laughs> My Jim Bone is broken. I don't go to the gym anymore. Ow. 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 That's walking. I can't do it. <laughs> I, I, I love it. This is a gorgeous modern traditional. Yes. Yes, it again. There's something about the canvas micarta that GEC does. Always, it's just spectacular. You can feel the it's layers. Pretty. Yeah, you can feel the layers on it. Yeah, I like it. Um, and again, that that wrench shell on the side. Yes, is way cool. Yes. Yeah, I I like it quite a lot. Now it is GEC. It is USA made. What is the price tag on this going to be? Ninety three oh three. Ninety three oh three. And if you got this right now for Christmas. Would you get it for free, Jason? Well, you'd have to pay ninety three oh three. Uh, well, would oh, you, you get the shipping? shipping. Yes, yeah, you, you would get, the shipping get it for free. Yes, for free. Yeah. So uh, thirty nine dollar free uh, free priority mail shipping. You would get and that. And it's priority mail, so you'll have it if you order it now. You'll have it easily by the end of this week, early next week. It's sharped up pretty good. Yes, it does. They must have run that over a stone. <laughs> Just got one guy. They have a troll sits in the back. He's got a rock. Let me tell you, when I was at the Kershaw factory, the young lady who was doing the sharpening on all the links while I was there, the Kershaw link, Yeah. I, I think I've told you this story before, but it was zip, 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 look, one more straight and pass, one more straight and pass, and then it was like butter. Well, I'm sure. It was shocking. She went from having no edge on the blade whatsoever to having it super sharp. Well, it's the idea of somebody putting in 10,000 hours worth of work yes. to get good at something. Yes. I think after you sharpen that many knives, right. it's probably second nature. You mm -hmm. probably can can get that 45 degrees. Without 45 even, degrees? Why are you putting 45, 45 degree degrees. angle in here? You might want a 20 or a 30, but you ain't going 45. That'd be amazing. That's going to be tough. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, I don't know why I thought 45. <laughs> It's the most ridiculous sharp. Merry thing Christmas, ever. Jason. Here's here's your knife that's kind of pointed on the side. You can stack it with another knife just right. like this. It's all good. It's beautiful. That's right. It makes a corner. Um, but you probably can look at that and get that angle just by feel yeah. at that point. She was basically doing it by hand. Just, so there's cool. no guide there. She's that's just great. zipping it. And it was I love amazing. It. Jumping into the bargain of the week. Yes. <clears throat> the thistle. Kershaw thistle. Oh. I, I like the thumb set on this. 
Look at that. I like Jonathan's the back point. there trying to jump to two. I, I wasn't even down on two yet. He can he, get the hang of it. He's going to come in here and smack so, you. So the thumb stud on this works really great. <laughs> Woohoo! Woo! Did you hear Jonathan? Yeah, I did. Woo! It worked so good, it flung it out of my hand. Yeah, it does. Uh, it is a push little button bob lock. Yet. It is. It's a different kind of push button lock, and we'll show you how this works. But let's For take sure. a look at it up close. My favorite thing about the Thistle, and I'm going to go ahead and step on the lead, is the price point. It is nine bucks. Nine dollars. Nine dollars. Nine dollars. It's a nine dollar, almost completely full size EDC. Nice. Yeah. Great nice. knife. So, 3.25 inch, stone wash finished, 8CR, 13 MOV stainless steel blade. Yeah. It's an eighth, an eighth of an inch thick, ambidextrous thumb studs, speed safe assisted opening. It is not no, speed safe. That is not at all. Strike that. That is not correct. Um, push button lock release. Uh, black GFN handles with embossed K texture grip, ambidextrous tip up carry pocket clip, 4.4 inches closed, 7.4 inches overall, weighs 4 ounces from Kershaw. Um, that doesn't need speed safe. No, it's I'll a, be it, honest. No, no, it doesn't. It has a nice thumb so to it. I want to show you this push button lock though, because it is not like an yeah. access lock or anything like that. You can see the liner in there. Yep. What literally happens is you push it over and then you move the plate. You have to release the button and yep. do it. So it is not a, it is not a full push button no. thing. It is get it get it unlocked yep. by pushing the pushing the button in here on the back it side. Basi basically, is a liner lock assist. Right, right. Yeah, I I really like but it. Thumb studs. It's nine dollars. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's nine bucks. I mean, if you're looking for that knife to get somebody involved in knife culture, right? Nine bucks. If they don't like it, it's okay. If they're like, I'm not into knives, because, well, you, you know, just... they're silly people who want to go through the world tearing stuff open with their teeth, um, then it's all right. Take it back from them. It's a good $9 knife. It, it just, I really, I like the action. I like the way it feels. Love the texture on the handles. Thumb studs are the perfect place for me. Yes. Very or I've finally grown open. up and I can just use thumb studs better yes. now. I want to see if you can flick it with a thumb stud. Oh, what, like a spidey flake? Yeah. No, I can't do that. I'll you just that. did it. Yeah. That's what, that's what I'm talking but about. But you can also... Yeah. Just right open. And because it's an assisted liner lock, it won't damage it. Because <laughs> in my theory, you already have something built in to pop to push the liner lock to the nice. side. When you Even if you got to put a pin on top of that button and That's just right. beat the heck out of it. I really do like that, though. Uh, it's a good little knife. It is a good little knife. It's one of those that you can put in your car and leave in your car. Oh, heck uh, yeah. Something on the road, throw it in a pack, leave it in a pack. But at yep. nine bucks, that is Buy a perfect one. stocking yes. stuffer. You want to be your... Uh, Niece or nephew's best friend for uh, Christmas. Grab if one you're of those. at $31 on your order, yeah, buy one of those and get free priority mail shipping. Yeah, good stuff right there. That's yeah. the bargain of the week from Kershaw. The thistle. Love it. Up next, Sister Susie sat on one of those. Uh, she did, and all he all he wanted for Christmas was his two front teeth. <laughs> Sister Susie sat on the thistle. <laughs> Condor. Wow. Cavalor. Just, just let's just drop the mics and walk away. They, they, they do some knife. funky stuff. They do. It's that fun. is one of their funkiest knives, I think. It looks like you cobbled one a knife together. Yeah, you had to build a handle from scratch. Right. So this is the Condor Tool and Knife Cavalor. It is a 4.3 inch, 1095 carbon steel drop point blade with a hammer forged finish. It is an eighth of an inch thick. Full tank construction, burnt American hickory wood handle with a wire wrap. It is 9.3 inches overall, weighs 7.76 ounces. Comes with a welted leather sheet. Yes, indeed. Uh, nice deep carry, very Scandinavian carry on that sheet. When I first read the description on this and looked at the pictures, I thought that, that's that got to be uncomfortable in the hand with those wires, but you really it's don't really feel nice. it. They're, but I they're think it's so kind of cool. It's very deep different. down in those grooves. Yep. They're almost like Lincoln Logs. Yeah. You could take that apart and build a house with it. You could. <laughs> Absolutely. Every day, I, all day long. It. No, it's just a really, really nice knife. Yeah. Feels great. Um, I had noticed that. You've got Condor and El Salvador stamped in the bottom of the handles. Mm -hmm. um, it's burnt in there. It's burnt in there. That. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is. Um, <laughs> burnt hickory, that's what I was saying, right? <laughs> that is not what the, what the stabbing. <laughs> I like the fact that the wire kind of gives you a little bit of a grip here on yeah, top. Yeah, a little bit. If you need it. 
You were, we were laughing that if you stab, uh, Jonathan and I were laughing that if you stab somebody that man, you got some damage going. Well, and there's DNA it's like everywhere. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, when you pull it out, there's just DNA everywhere on that knife. Um, <laughs> man, I won't say that it's got a, so a blood saying groove is, because, you know, people get upset when I say the word blood groove. Yes, apparently. But it has little micro. You should be ashamed. It has micro vertical fullers. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is Lieutenant Kendo would love this knife for the amount of DNA left on it. That's exactly That's right. You go, my, my, my. Maybe I should get cleaner paper to do that. <sighs> I knew this was going to do it. I knew it! It's the micro vertical fullers. There it is. They don't like cut paper. I'm telling you. I love that. Short that show. Apparently my paper's defective. Well, Have you ever noticed that every time I want to cut paper in a bad, bad way, it's like, I cut paper in a bad, bad way. You do, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I adore that knife, though. I love the way it looks, like the sheath. I mean, wouldn't you just feel like you were living the bushcraft I, life if you strapped this on I your hip, put on your, put on your over-the-knee moccasins, and just run I'm through the freaking say, forest? I, I think that I'm in the last Mohicans with this. That's right. I'm How did you know where I was? Self. Yeah. Like ducking behind the waterfall. I'm you. Coming out and flinging a tomahawk. Looking for Madeline Stowe across That's the right. whole... Prairie. <laughs> Forgotten she was bleeding. Oh, I was. never forget that. That's right. Because it's one of the biggest crushes of my life. That's <clears> just a, that is a nice, very frontiersy. That's nice. It's knife. different. It's different. It's different. What was the price tag on that? It doesn't matter. It's a condor. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just buy it. It's a condor. Uh, Seventy-six forty-eight. Seventy-six forty-eight. On you're that. You're getting some really cool, old school tech in that. Yeah. It's fun. I love it. It's fun. It's different. Jonathan carries two of these. He does, right? <laughs> One strap to each ankle. Oh, his ankles are no, high. On his ankles. On his ankles are high. <laughs> yeah. Well, when he's flipped through the air. That's right. It's hard. Yep. That tuck Tell and roll me. maneuver. Tuck and roll. <laughs> love it. Spidey love flicks it. his cavalry out there, at you? I'm telling you, you did not see the amount of condor he bought that day. I, I have Axes heard. Axes and splitting malls and <laughs> GI shovels. <coughs> he dug his way out of the building that day. Uh. Just... What is the next category? Because I, you know, switched them up. It's okay. What have we done so far? Let's we just have say. done the bar something new, bargain of the week, and the fixed blade of the week. And next up is the pocket candy modern. Pocket candy modern. We haven't had a Civivi on in a while, and I wanted to do this Civivi uh, Wyvern. Yes. Um, I like this knife. You can flick it pretty easily with the thumb hole, or you can use the flipper. Uh, the bearings in it are nice. If you've been under a rock and you haven't been watching this, first of all, shame on you. But Civivi, of course, is the budget-friendly line from Wii. Yes. Um, I don't know that by picking them up, I could tell you the difference between the action of the two. Um, what I would say is that you can tell the build of a Wii knife just by its yes. stout nature, its solid build. The Civivis are lighter, they easier are. to move, but the action, you are absolutely right. The action's the same. The action is the yeah. same, uh, it really whether is, it's the Civivi kind of or it is the Wii. Let's go down here and have a look. Um, I do love the way the Civivis all have very, very good slender lines. Doesn't this remind you of a Honey Badger? Uh, yeah, it does. Yeah. It does. Yeah. A little bit different uh, I think it's the handle, handle that but it's really it definitely, yeah. the Honey Badger has that honeycomb. Sure. And this has like fish scales. So this is That's the, a carp scale right there. Well, it's a wyvern scale. <laughs> Wyvern's a dragon. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Nice. You know that, did I did not. You should play more D and D with I, I will have to go LARPing with you next time, and we Don't will figure LARP. it out. I never LARP. We <laughs> actually hit each other. On this we actually on this. hit each other with quarter status. Yeah. We didn't fake it, huh? This even looks like a dragon. I know, right? He's just silly. So this is the wyvern in orange, three point five inch D two drop point with, <laughs> with a satin finish. Point one two inches thick. Started again because I was wire burning all <laughs> like over it. your stuff. Three point five <coughs> inch D two drop point uh, blade with a satin finish. <coughs> point one two inches thick. Uh, manual flipper. Orange F R N handle. Liner lock tip up pocket clip. Four point four five inches closed. Almost eight inches overall. Weighs three ounces. Nice. And again, this is a Civivi by We, and uh, that whole entire Civivi line is just fantastic. careful. It's a dragon. It is a dragon. Give this to a Targaryen. A what? Targaryen. Yes, question. Is the lanyard link metal on that? Uh, uh, no, it's FRN. It is FRN. Yeah. I was just flicking it to see. It it's is. built into the to the actual it's, handle it's, there's, there's, Let's go back to two right there. So you can see, you've got a, uh, it's, an, it's, it's integrated into the spacer. Yeah. So and the spacer is FRN. Yeah. I'm trying to see in there if there's. I don't think there's a. There is a steel liner. Is it? Yep. Well, you may have a steel liner run into the clip. Mm. You see it? Yeah. It goes all the way back up through you there. You might have steel in the 
lanyard loop. I don't know. It's hard to show on the yeah. camera like that. But yeah, there are, there are steel liners on the inside of this FRN, and then the spacer itself has an integrated lanyard hole. Yeah. Bing! So you, you might have metal in that lanyard hole. Yes. Um, You've got me metal in your lanyard hole. Uh, the the cutout on the blade <laughs> Tommy's works got great. Metal in his lanyard hole. <laughs> well, um, the cutout on the blade works great for opening. Uh -huh. The flipper works perfect. Nope. No. Not for me. No. Not for you. I love everything Civivi has done, and this might be my favorite pattern of theirs. It's nice. Yeah. Uh, price tag. Love the scales. Uh, Forty nine thirty. Forty nine thirty. So, we action for fifty bucks. Yeah. No, it's not going to go. There's just not enough. There's not enough blade not to come blade. out. Yeah. Yeah. There's not enough. Nope, not going to happen. I'm going to fling that across the room. Um, I like really the action. This is a great EDC pocket knife. Oh, completely. Put this in your pocket. It's light. It's easy. This very it's, slim. It's, it's, yes, that's what I was going to say. Very, it's deceptively slim. slim for a full yeah. size knife. Um, yeah, that's just a good thing. Yep. Civivi wire. And you've got your Gerber wallet tucked in there. That's right. With a little plastic piece you can use to Jimmy Doors open. That's right. That's right. There. It has D2 tool still in it. Now, this next one, a little bit bigger than most. You, 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 most here's the thing. Uh, traditional carriers. They say go big or go home, right? <laughs> well, that one did. So when we added Rough Rider of the Week <laughs> to this, I decided to go big. Might as well. Now, Melina has been begging me to put this on the show since it came in about a month ago. And I agree with her. In case you didn't know, Rough Rider just she and I have called you every name in the book because you wouldn't put it on the show. I, I, you know, I'm just one of those people. I, I love the Rough Rider comments. brand. I have designed a ton of stuff for the Rough Rider band yes. over the last 10, 15 years. Um, I actually did the design work for this box and for this knife, the shield, and all of that stuff. But in my mind, I think Gigantic Trapper. When and he said I design go, work, he took it old school and he put it on the copier and he hit 150%. <laughs> and he took that and he milled actually, that. Actually, it's a brand new 25-year shield. I know. I'm just yeah. <laughs> the etches, all of it. Ain't no tracing over here. Ain't no collaging going on right here. You're an inker. I'm an inker. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Let's go right here, Jonathan. It's going to be oh. hard to get in here. This is the 25th anniversary Rough Rider Giant Trapper. Jason hit the specs. Good lord. Well, that right is here. a heck of a knife. So, <laughs> gray and black pack of wood handles, antique finish diamond anniversary shield, nickel silver pins and ringed pinched bolsters, stainless steel liners, foul worked back springs, which I think turned out great. Yeah, look at that. Serialized limited edition. It has a collector's box. It features the art of all the past shields, a lot of the past shields. Yeah, I'm going to show that here in just yeah. a second. But. Which is really, really cool. Now, this knife <laughs> is eight inches closed. Yeah, eight inches closed, which is basically twice the size of a standard trap. Eight inches open, eight inches closed. <laughs> You're not putting this in your pocket comfortably. You comfortably. <laughs> You yeah, might knock your kneecap fun. off. Uh, and it weighs 20 ounces. So you're talking about a <laughs> knife here that when you get this thing fully open. Good lord. That is it right there. Here's because my the, thing yeah. with these. If you have a traditional pocket knife collector in your family, uh -huh. or if you are one, just do it. What better piece could you get you could spay an elephant. Sorry. What better piece could you get to go in your collection than this giant trapper? Look how deep that etch is in there. Oh, well, it could be. Look how deep it is. They use the sun. They, they use the sun in a giant magnifying glass just, and a guy it named really Jerry. really is. You can feel, you can almost read it with your finger. That's right. Put it up next to the GEC. <laughs> we can eclipse the GEC. Two, two. There you go. Yeah. Look at that. Giant, giant knife. Yes. Let me show this box to you. Go back to two real quick. If these are, oh, go ahead, show that and then I'll ask my question. So this is the box that comes in. It has all the sh different shields that have gone on for the last 25 years around this whole box. So it turns out really, really nice. You can see what the different ones that are there. Uh, I think we've used a few more shields, but this is the uh, 25th anniversary logo right here. That is what is on the blade. Um, it's just a fun little collectible. You could hit this a club. You, you could. Need to use you it. really could. God, that is literally is. twice the size of a standard trapper. Standard trapper is four and an eighth. That's eight inches. It's just barely under. 
Okay, the etching Question. on the on the spay is big. The etching on the clip point. Good night. Oh yeah, now that's gorgeous. It turned out great. Yeah, question. Go ahead, sorry. Yeah. Michael Bomorski has one of these. Yes. And he really would like your input on how you think he should display it. He wants to put like a <sighs> wall on it. <laughs> so, I mean, that's really up to you. But you can do it just like that. And you if put you your want. other trappers. You this isn't a trapper. <laughs> you put your box behind. You put your it. box behind it. And you get a whole bunch of smaller trappers. To, to surround it. If you want to put it on the wall. If you want oh. to put it on the wall. We sell some display sell cases. Display cases, yeah. Um, they are glass fronted. Uh, they have the felt on the inside and the padding. Mm -hmm. And you can you can mount them inside there. And I do that with a couple of different those, displays at home. Those displays have uh, pins on the side to hold everything together. So they're really easy to put together. Uh, they'll sit well on a shelf or hang on a wall. And I think it would be great. Thing. Did you mention that these were serialized? Yes. Okay, awesome. But I, I, again, I don't think it's a it's, problem. It's on the bolster. It's really cool. Um, price. You um, never hit it. Thirty bucks. Thirty bucks for That's your a giant lot of knife, man. Trapper. It's a lot. Question. Yes. Do you think that's easier to put together than a regular trapper, or is it harder? Because you're dealing with so much more material. Um, I would think that probably because the pieces are not as small, it's a little bit easier to deal with. That's so, so cool. But it is all, the, it's, I mean, it's a real I mean, trap. It's put together exactly yeah. like a regular yep. trapper. You've got love the file, file work. work on the back springs. File work turned out great. It's just party. Yeah. And again, cool, cool <laughs> Christmas piece. Talk about the weird surprise gift. Oh, yeah. White elephant gift? Yeah. Here's your giant trapper, Papa. So <laughs> you know, we're doing a white elephant. Oh, we're doing it. This house. That nice. may be, hmm, that'd be mm. really, really funny. Well, don't give it away on any place that they might see it. So, <laughs> <laughs> questions, comments, thoughts. I think we all know they're good knives. Concerned, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tends to happen when it you does. run a knife work. Yes, it does. Uh, questions, comments? No, really? All three of the people that are here watching, they're don't ogling. have any questions. <laughs> they're ogling the wonderness of what's on the table. <laughs> we go from nine bucks. To another modern folder that's fifty. Yeah. To a gigantic traditional that's thirty. Mm -hmm. To a regular size traditional mm -hmm. that's a hundred and something. A hundred and no, that's ninety four. Yeah. Let's say. To just a groovy, kind of old school frontiersy fixed blade. If I t that is a nice selection. If I asked you which one you wanted for Christmas from the table, which one would it be? Really? It's the condor. Yeah. I haven't bought, I have not broken down and bought one yet. Yeah. I have my eyes on that small uh, Kephart yeah. style that they have. I can't think of the name right now. Yeah. Um, I'll laugh if it's like mini Kephart. <laughs> might be. <laughs> um, but you got to say it with a Salvadorian accent. Get the um, reaper. Get the <laughs> Might. Uh, but again, I haven't bought one yet, but this one is in the running. I really kind of dig the... That's kind of cool, and the for wire. what you like yeah. to do, I think that fits really well. Kind of of course, I'm going to be the GEC. Yeah. That yeah. wrench that speaks wrenches. to me. It's nice. We have a question? Yes. Is the Rough Rider sharp? Yeah. Is the Rough Rider sharp? I don't know how sharp it is, but we shall see. <laughs> you can do a long cut with that. Matter of fact, we have some poster board in the back. I like watching, half. having my hands here. I'm not sure. I, of course, after I do that one nice cut, I'm not going to do it again. No. But yeah, yeah it is so. sharp. It is sharpened. Yes. It's so funny to see a blade that size and uh, the uh, the grind. The, oh, yeah, it just yeah, yeah, yeah. Tiny does, on a blade yeah. that size. It's funny. So awesome. You can sharpen that one for years. Never going to run out. Take it and use it to shave with. Questions, other questions. Come. Pocket dump. Pocket dump. Oh, I got something new today. Oh, well, you hit me. Sog Terminus nice. XR. Sog Terminus XR. So this is basically Sog's uh, version of the Axis Lock. Axis Lock. I say that every time. I know. The there ain't no Axis yeah. on your Axis. Uh, Hey, you got to get your my, my fingers want to hit that lock. So when you're playing with work. a flipper on this uh, on this particular terminus, if you get your thumb on top of the uh, the it lock, no open. it no open yeah. at, all. at all. You have to get it away from that. 
Uh, but closing is awesome. Yeah. Opening, you can open with that as yeah. well. It's just really pretty. Good looking. Night. You won this. I did win this. How did at you our, win this? At our Christmas party last week. It was one of the prizes. What's funny is you were already gone by the time they brought it in there, and the whole office was standing around going, should we just open it? That would have been fine. That would have been funny. I wouldn't have cared. It's a nice little pocket I know. knife. I dig it. Uh, did you happen to look and see what these cost on the website? You know, I looked it up and did not look at the price. Hmm. I guess that's what happens when you get it for free. It does. God. But they actually have this, uh, the, the regular Terminus is a slip joint from SOG. Yeah. yeah. Um, just a, a really fun little knife. Feels good. I like the really extreme jumping on the back. Extreme. Kind of bites into your face. I saw it drinking Mountain Dew just before we came onto the show. Extreme! It was. It was like the guys monster energy. I went back and threw the uh, oh crossbones yes, indeed. into the pocket. I love this little knife. This is a CRKT crossbones. I can't tell you much about the steel or anything else. I can probably look on it and figure it out. But um, I had just fell in love with this knife from the first time I yeah. saw it. And then they were kind enough at CRKT to send some Christmas gifts our way. And so, yes, this one was free for me, too, from Bryce and the guys yeah. at, at CRKT. And I, I just love it. Yeah. I, I think it complements the CEO perfectly I think for the kind too. of knife that I like. <clears throat> it's thin. It's light. I just really dig it. And I, I only have one knife on me. I almost put my JG5... Uh, Modified. Oh, cool! Back on my hip, Heck but yeah. I forget about it. Just that's that upswept you want too. <laughs> and then Tyler walked in the office and started talking about big new things for next year. And well, I've seen some. I forgot my JG five. I've seen some uh, pieces you've designed there coming out soon. Ooh, ish. And uh, my goodness, ooh, man, yeah, goodness. I'm excited. Seriously, <laughs> you owe me a beer. I turned it down. You thought you did. <laughs> I'm not going to do it to him again. <laughs> I'm not going to do it to him again. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that was Kevin Pipes calling. Yes, it was. <laughs> yes, founder of the company. It's S. Colin. Governor. Governor. <laughs> founder of the company. Other questions, comments, concerns, thoughts? Okay, well, let's do a rundown then. Do it. Okay. Hurry up. Uh, I got to stick my crossbones back in my pocket. Here we go. This right here is the GEC 86 oil field jack. This little guy right here is 1095 Love. carbon steel on the blades. Uh, you got a nice little uh, nickel silver wrench um, shield. You have brushed uh, nickel silver bolsters, natural tin canvas micarta handles on this thing, brass liners, brass pins. It's just gorgeous and it's around yeah. 95 bucks. Right? Yep. And remember, from GEC, going to be gone. Not, yeah. Going to be Don't gone. ever call them limited editions, but they are all small batches, just yep. like a good bourbon. Yep. And we've already sold out of at least one of these types. Yeah. So of the four. that is uh, something new yep. from GEC. Great knife. Uh, the bargain of the week <laughs> is the cur one. There you go. Just step here for a second, one. Jonathan. Uh, this is the Kershaw Thistle. Uh, I think this is what? 8CR? Uh, yes. ACR steel with a stone wash finish. It's just a great little EDC. Heck yeah. I'm not going to bore you with all the things on it. It has a button that unlocks a liner on the inside. So once you get it moving, you close it up. The thumb studs are ambidextrous. They work great. Work the pocket great. clip is ambidextrous. It's tip down. No, tip up. Tip up. Sorry. And uh, guys, it's, nine, it's bucks. nine bucks. That's all you got to know about this. Add this to your Christmas wish list. It is just a fantastic little knife. Buy three or four of them. Yeah, seriously, I would. Buy four of them. Yeah. Free shipping. Get in plenty of time for Christmas. Come on! Fixed Blade of the Week, Cavalor from oh. uh, Condor. This is a fixed blade knife. This was 1095 carbon or 1075? 1095. 1095 carbon with a hand forged finish. I wish I could Full make tank that. construction, wire wrap, um, uh, hickory handles, or hickory or walnut? Hickory. Hickory. Burnt hickory. Burnt hickory. Burnt, hickory. Burnt real good with some words right there. Got you a lanyard. Welted sheath. Yep. 76. 76. 74. 76. 78. 76. 48. 76. 48. Yeah, so let's call it 77 bucks. Nice. Great little fixed blade yeah. of the week from uh, Condor. Civivi. Wait, wait. Uh, now that we know it's a dragon. Something's got new, some, some dragon. Yeah, but you know it's oh, a dragon. Well. I was telling you before, I let you pretend like you knew it. All right. It's fine. <laughs> this is D2 Tool Steel. It has a great thumb hole. It's easy to open. It's a flipper. FRN handles on this that are shaped like a carp. <laughs> it's a liner lock. We named that knife Small. <laughs> <laughs> Chip up pocket clip, which is not ambidextrous, but it is removable if you did want to take it off there. This is just a great little budget-friendly knife made by Wii under the brand name Civivi, and this thing comes in at... $40? 50 bucks. 50 bucks. 49 40, 30. 30. 49 30 from Civivi. Smog. Smog. <laughs> 49 30 from Civivi right there. And finally, last but not least, 
The Doohickey Gigantoid. Doohickey <laughs> Gigantoid. 25th anniversary Elvis Rough Spanish. Rider Giant Trapper. <laughs> Eight inches closed. Going to be close to, Lord have mercy, 16 inches fully open. Yes. Uh, guys, this is just a real knife. That's a 25th anniversary and huge. Comes with a collector's box. And the price tag on this is next it's to nothing. 30 bucks. 30 bucks. Uh, so if you're a fan of Rough Rider and you want something collectible, this is just something fun to add to the rest of your collection. Well, Bill Cody uses the spade buffalo. That's right. This is a Paul Bunyan knife. <laughs> he spayed buffalo in the wild <laughs> from across the room. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, the big blue ox was not happy. No, he was not. After that day. He became babeless. <laughs> babeless. I wish I had half stubs. I think it'd be kind of hard to do half stops. Oh no, it would, would be almost impossible. Would... Can you imagine the the lockup of it? It'd be like, boom, <laughs> <laughs> guillotine your fingertips no. right off your body, dude. Okay, <laughs> you know it's gonna be good when he dudes, dude. So take the spade blade out. Yes. Put a hole in the side. Uh -huh. This is big enough for a a regular size. Corona cigar. Yeah. You put it in, you flick it down, and it is now a cigar cutting giant. Well, that's trap. a mod I could get behind. That'd be amazing. Have it on your desk, and you're just the like. Rough Rider Giant Cigar Cutter. Put it in there and just. Cigar Gunner Trapper. Oh. See, these cigar are ideas are supposed to happen off the air. So. Man. So that we don't put them all out there. Any other questions, comments, thoughts, concerns? Yeah, will the Bigfoot Tinker be back in stock? Yes, it is on order. Yep. I will, I'm disappointed to tell you that we were told that it's going to be like a four to five week lead time on that. Apparently, the, those Swedes work slow. But. Four to five weeks is better than yes. if it was coming in from some other companies that might be four or five months. True. So true. But they will be back in. One will not be back in because I buy them when they come back in. So ha. Does the big one have half stops? No, no, no half stops in that at all. Nope. What else? I think that's it. She thinks yeah. that's it. We're brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, SMKW.com, the world's largest knife store. Make sure you are liking, sharing, and subscribing to all the things that we do. I mean, we're doing two of these live now. Small. So make sure you're doing that. Uh, follow us on Instagram. We do a giveaway there each week. Follow us on Facebook. We do a giveaway there each and every single week. Follow us on Twitter if you want to. For sure. Uh, we put Andy information out there. I do hate Twitter. There is no purpose for Twitter. <laughs> nothing good happens. You know how Twitter. people say that nothing good happens after 3 a.m. and you know nothing. At 3 a.m. nothing yeah, good is going to happen. It's Twitter. True. That's what Twitter is. Twitter it's is nothing good true. happens on Twitter ever. Period. 3.30. Though I do it every day. Ideas. Question. Do we know if the, ha the Highland Bowie will be back in stock? Do we know who we will be back in stock? Ah, that's a good question. We will look it up. I don't know. Uh, at the way it's sold, I would hopefully hope that we yeah. get more of them because that thing was awesome. Yeah, was. That thing was awesome. The Highland Lockback that goes along with that series is nice. Oh, yeah. And I know we have something else coming in the Highland series as well. Yes. What? Mm-hmm. What else? Any other questions? So... YouTube, we want to grow it. Make sure you're growing with us. We want to grow it. You should know it. Yes, grow it and show it. That's what we want to do. Right so, here on Facebook, guys, we're killing it. 110,600 yeah. of you. We want 110,000. We want 124.6. By? Uh, as soon as possible. There you go. So help There's us your out. Mission, people. Tell people we're out there. Help us follow on that. Go join the F SMKW army maybe not talk while i'm talking that no. would probably help the smkw army facebook group has over three thousand people in it and yes, you guys it are posting all the time it's a great place to share your knives that you Fun love place to hang out yeah uh, we had a question uh, there Why is there a cinder over there oh that's because her pocket nump was a cinder you didn't even show it off did you? i didn't because I, I hate this knife <laughs> i like it i don't need this knife i just forgot about it beautiful <laughs> This it is a Kershaw cinder jaw too. There it is. This is what Molina, Molina is. is carrying. This is in case she wants to just like pretend she's gonna poke me in the ribs and just slice me up. Or open a bottle cap. That's true. It's a multitasker. That's right. She can like cut me in the ribs and then <laughs> pop the top off a cold one to celebrate. Right. <laughs> yep. That is her EDC right there. Uh, I was gonna say something else about the group, but I don't remember now. Probably because interrupted you. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions, comments, and current concerns? I bet they're waiting for something. It might be. Mm -hmm. What if we just didn't do it? They'd be sad. Why would they be sad? They would be sad. Why would they be sad? Because they think want I'm supposed to give them something every time I come on the air. 
Well, we is that have, how we do it? We have set that as a precedent, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I know the ones that can't be it. I do too. Yeah, the GEC can't be it. Yeah. The uh, Wyvern can't be it. We cannot. Do it. No. Probably nope. Not enough to stop. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I want to tell you, if you want a wyvern, get it. Uh, yeah, there's yeah. not many. Uh, and the condor cannot. Um, the one that I will say we probably should give away because it was hermetically sealed as well, it came then, out yes. of the box. There you this. go. Yes. Yes. So let's give away the giant trapper for somebody's regular pocket. A giant pocket. serialized anniversary edition trapper. Um, and let's make it hashtag Rough Rider Rules. Three R's. Oh, yeah. Hashtag Rough Rider Rules. We Remember, won't accept rules with a Z. We will not accept Rider with an I. No. It's Rider. rider. Needs a y, but yes. rules can have an ES or a Z. Hashtag Rough Rider Rules. Or that will get you entered to win both. this giant 25th <laughs> anniversary trapper. Rules is, is this. While he just keeps mumbling at me into my face over to the side, I'm going to call it the show. Thanks, Jonathan, in the back. Thanks, Melina, over here answering questions for everybody. That is the mumbler, Jason. I'm Andy, and this has been another episode of Guys Talk Knives Live. Now let's go buy some big hand fruit. No, I'm telling you, I need a drill press and a cigar. I can make this happen. <laughs> <laughs> We can even do like cigarettes up on this end. You could totally. You can cut